Okay, as promised, I'm back. We're going to talk blue triangles one more video. And y'all, I am so excited to make this video. I wanted to do it for so long because my students have messed this up for forever. And this is the way that I find that y'all can remember how to do this. So in the last video, we derived these blue triangle equations. And in these equations, there's three unknowns, the three things that we need to know. We need to know F, theta Z, and we need to know phi. Okay, and if we remember, let me write it down again. Okay. F is just the magnitude of the force. Okay, that one ought to be easy. Phi, remember that was the swing angle. Okay, if you don't remember where this stuff comes from, go watch the last video. Swing angle is the angle between positive x and the bottom of the door. Okay? And then finally, theta z was the angle between positive z and vector f. So what I have here is example, 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 example. And what I need you to do is I'm going to ask you, this is a question, I'm going to ask you, what is F? What is phi? What is theta Z? Right? On every one of these examples. And I need you to tell me what it is. So I'm going to ask you, I want you to push pause. I want you to tell me what it is and then push play and see if you got it right. Okay? So we'll do this guy up here in the first. Okay? So let's do, let's do this one. Let's do F1, vector F1. What is F? What is phi? And what is theta z? Okay? All right, for this guy right here, you push pause, and let's see if we get it right. Okay? Are you back? All right, here we go. Let's see if you got it right. Here we go. F is just given. It's 100 newtons. Okay. What is phi? Okay, swing angle. The swing angle is from positive x. Well, here's positive x. Remember, there's y over there. So if I go, if I had like a, a coordinate system like this, right? Here's x and here's y. You know, here's zero degrees. There's 90. That's our positive rotation. We, that's, we know that, right? If I want a negative angle, you know that that would be this way. So from x rotating towards y, whoop. That's positive, okay? Positive. Okay, so what is it? Well, it's from positive x over to the bottom of the door. This is, they give us from y to the bottom of the door is 40. So from here over there must be 50. And what is theta z? For this vector, it's going into the floor. It's under the floor, right? So theta z is from positive z going straight up. So I got to go from straight up, I got to go 90 degrees to get to the floor. And then that vector is down into the floor another 30 degrees. So 90 plus 30, 120. Okay, did you get them all right? Mm, probably not. I, I doubt you did. Uh, maybe you did. I hope you did. So let's do the next one. Let's do this guy. All right. Push pause and tell me the same thing. What is f? What is phi? What is theta z for this one? Okay. Push pause. Ready, get, set, go. All right, are you back? All right, here we go. Let's see if we learned anything. Okay. F is given 150. Okay. Phi, the angle on the floor, it's in the, it's, phi is always in the xy plane. Well, if that's the positive direction, then this is the negative direction. Phi is negative 20. Okay, what is theta z? Okay, theta z is from positive z to vector f. Well, from the floor up is 50, so from here over must be 40. All right, because I'm telling you, once you can identify these things, then you just plug it in this and you get your i, your j, your k, golden, right? But if you plug garbage into these equations, you get garbage out. So it's important to be able to tell 
what these things are that you need for those equations, okay? Remember, this is way number one to write 3D vectors. Okay, what about this one? Okay, let's do this one down uh, right up here, F1, okay? What is F? What is phi? What is theta z? All right, now you're thinking you're all bad and you know what's going on now. All right, push pause and let's see. Ready, set, go. All right, are you back? Here we go. Here we go. F is given. Boom, it's 200 newtons. What is phi? Okay, huh. In the, it's in the xy plane, right? Well, look here. If I go from x whoop, all the way around to negative x, that's 180 degrees. And then I got to come back whoop, 35 degrees off of 180. That puts me at 145. So phi is 145 degrees. Okay. What is theta z? Again, they gave me from the floor up to the vector. I need from positive z down to the vector. If the floor up is 60, then the vector down must be 30. Okay. Vector F2. What is F? What is phi? What is theta z? Okay. All right. Push pause. And let's see if we do another one. Okay. Here we go. F is given. It's 350. What is phi? Okay, let's see. Phi is from positive x back this way. Though that'd be negative going this way, wouldn't it? So I'm going to go from here all the way over to negative y would be 90 degrees, right? Whoop, 90, and then come back 30, right? Because they gave me from the y over instead of from the x over. So if this is 30, that must be 60, but it's negative. All right. What is theta z? Okay, theta z is from positive z. So I gotta go, it's going into the floor. It's below the floor, right? I can tell that right there. So I gotta go 90 degrees to get to the floor and then down into the floor another 45 degrees. So that is 135, all right? Woo, are we starting to get it? It's starting to kind of click. It's starting to kind of click. Okay, here we go. F1. What is F? What is phi? What is theta z? Okay, push pause. All right, here we go. You're back. Let's go. Let's go. F is given 75 newtons. What is phi? All right, from positive x to the bottom of the door. Oh, they gave me from y over is 50, so from x over must be 40. Okay, what is theta z? Again, it's going into the floor. I got to go 90 to get to the from from positive z down to the floor, and then I got to go down a little bit more, 35 more degrees. So that makes that 125. All right. Are you getting it? All right, let's do another one. Here we go. F2. F equals phi equals theta z equals. All right. Here we go. Push pause. All right, let's go. Let's go. Did you get it right? F2 is um, 60. Phi, what is phi? Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. From here over, this is positive. That is negative. So minus 20. Okay. And what is theta z? Oh, theta z is given this time, isn't it? From positive z down to the vector is 30 degrees. All right. We got two more to go. Two more. Then there's no way you missed this on test, right? No way. All right. Here we go. What is f? What is phi? What is theta z? Okay. All right, push pause. All right, are you back? This one has some tricks in it. I don't know if you're going to get this one right or not. Okay. So, again, from Y over is 55, so from X over must be 35. Okay, this is 100. This is 35. Ooh, what is theta Z? All right, did any of you write 40? Because that's wrong. Because... 
Remember, theta z is from the positive z axis. They gave me from the negative z up instead of the positive z down, right? Well, the positive z down all the way to the bottom is 180, right? Z, theta z, can never be bigger than 180 because if I come this way, right, if you had a vector that went all the way back over here, well, I'll just come from this side, right? So theta z is always between 0 and 180, and it's never negative, never negative, okay? Um, so if this is one, if this is 40, then all the way down must be 140. All right? One more, one more. What is F? What is V? What is theta Z? All right. Push pause one more time. All right, you back? Here we go. Here we go, Kokomo. F is 150. It's given. Okay. What is phi? Oh, Lordy, look at this guy. Now, there's two ways I could do this, right? I could go from positive x all the way around, or I could go negative back this way, right? So from x to negative y, that's 90 degrees, plus another 45, that's 135, but that's negative. So phi is negative 135, okay? Now, again, I could have picked positive 90, positive 180, plus another 45, so I could have picked positive 225, and I put that there exactly the same, right? So we could have had either one of those answers would have been correct, okay? So if you put that, don't be like, well, I had the, yeah, it's still correct. All right, and then theta z, well, from positive z down, it's given correctly, it's 30 degrees, okay? So if you know how to find these things, then breaking a 3D vector down into I, J, and K components ought to be easy as pie because you just take those things, bam, and plug them into those equations, and then I know my I hat, my J hat, my K hat. Done. Easy, right? The question is, is do you know how to put the right junk in those equations? Well, after that, if you didn't get it, you better go back and watch this video again. All right, I hope that helps, and I'll see you on the next video.